never mind. We're all good. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm, uh, Fluxtruck9. Oh, my god, I'm in the wrong comment group, John. Lordy. Alright, uh, I guess I'm solo commentating that Case Western ver uh, Reserve University versus Marist College. It's kind of a match that, uh, is a little bit of a, uh, I don't know what to call it. I don't think they have difficulty, but they were just, like, confused about, uh, boxes and stuff. Ready?
Love in the white square. The white square is uh, a new intercollegiate sort of thing where the stocks weren't exactly displaying properly. Uh, in the last game, University of Michigan versus University of New Mexico in Amherst. Uh, it's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny that's getting used. All right, and it looks like we're going to see green Peach player coming in for Merritt College. Uh, I wonder if this Peach player plays green boot. That's a, a question. Now we're just going to check on the broadcast. All right, and uh, wait, it doesn't sound like my headphones are connected. Oh, using a different, wait. All right, sorry about that. You are totally right. It was using my, my commentator headset rather than my comfy wireless one. Sorry about that, yeah. Uh, I, ha I have it because that, that headset I use is, the other one I have is wired, uh, but the audio quality is a lot nicer than what I got <laughs> on this one. But this is comfy because I can just go, ooh. No cables. Interchangeable battery. Shoutouts to Steel Series Arctis Pros. They're expensive, but they are the best gamer headphones I've ever used. So, just gonna say that, you know. We are not affiliated with Steel Series, but I will still give them a shout out because I absolutely love their headphones. All right, we're gonna wait on that warm up game. Uh, in the meantime, I hope everyone's doing well. This is our. Second stream of the day, we had two previous matches, University of Michigan versus University of Massachusetts Amherst, and we also had Johns Hopkins University alumni versus, uh, I believe it's Montclair State University. Thank you, King, uh, King Kyber. I thought it was King Key, like, <laughs> never mind. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, no problem, no problem. Another time. Uh, but it's also not too late if you want to join me right now and just hop in the stream channel, because I'm like... <laughs> it's, it's pretty much open-ended. I'm just here. Thank you, MJ Goodwin, too, for the follow. Super appreciate it. Um, those tags are not familiar. I don't know if y'all are in the circuit or y'all are just finding us on Twitch. Or you're friends of people on uh, the teams. Anyway, so it works. I don't know if... I think they're just gonna keep... Uh, oh, they're going Yoshi's. So, BFD band going Yoshi's. So this is just still warm-up. Uh, players can start when they're ready, is what I said. Um, we're gonna have one more match tonight. I believe it's Georgia Tech versus. I gotta check. Man, yeah, I'm a bad TO. Don't even memorize my own matches or what's happening. All right, so we got Georgia Tech versus. Oh, that's right, the second Johns Hopkins team. Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins. Johns. Johns. Okay. <laughs> I always forget the S, and then everyone at JHU corrects me, and like, they're like, Lucky, you need to say the S, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. <laughs> Alright, we're going right into it, I think, I hope. Oh, dear lord, I hope we're going into it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so, Green Peach, yeah. If they weren't playing Green Peach, I would really, like, question what their tag is for. Uh, Violence is going to drop three stocks. Honestly, I don't know if Yoshi's is the best pick here. Uh, Yoshi's is... Not a, necessarily a, a bad pick, because they're both floaties and they would both take advantage of Dreamland, and Peach probably doesn't want Dreamland for, you know, letting Samus live too long and then having them accidentally get killed earlier. Um, but Yoshi's could be dangerous, because Samus has some hard hits. I mean, Peach's Down Smash can kill on this stage, but, I mean, look right here. Samus is, like, maybe two hard missiles away, or some percent in a hard missile away, from uh, getting that stock. And so that's one hard missile. I predict the next hard missile, not in center stage, will in fact kill this Peach. Um, I learned, oh my god, you're kidding me, that up the, like, was like super. I couldn't tell, if oh, wow, and great spacing, and good coverage of the space, just covered the two, like, horizontals, not letting Peach go anywhere, their only option was to either, like, shield, do an evasive option, or go to top plat. Alright, and violence, just looking to attack on extra damage, you know, 60% burns the charge shot, but... Doesn't mean that they still can't take this stock. Oh, that's a great follow-up. And Violence is already going to take six stocks from Marist. I mean, wow. If you're this Peach, you you really, like, got to be careful. Violence is is going out there. Double Nair. 
Oh, I thought we were going to see a triple there. <gasps> and the charge shot. That's death. Violence having taken now seven stocks. Looking for the eighth stock. Uh, what will happen? We will see. Oh, that down smash. Oh, the charge shot was so close. Just went right under Peach's skirt. All right. Missiles coming out. Missiles. More missiles. Uh, you know, the Peach has yet to disincentivize... Uh, violence from not using those missiles. I mean, right now, if you're violence, I, I just doesn't seem like there's a reason not to use missiles, and that's an 8 stock. Or 8 stocks taken for violence. Crazy. And that was a 4 stock game, so, whoa. Alright, now we're gonna strike out second player on P2, or Team 2. Alright, uh, it looks like we're gonna have Vera, the Dr. Mario player, come in. Uh, you know, I, I do think that there's three good Doc skins. I, I'm not a big fan of the red one, personally. It's it's very, like, it's so light red that it's pink. And it's not because I don't like pink. It's just because it doesn't, like, look like the stock icon. I would kind of want a more solid red because there is no solid red. Um, blue, I, I like I like blue Dr. Mario. Uh, also, I like black Dr. Mario. And regular's fine, you know. Thank you, Donnie Jones 21 for the follow. Gonna wait for the warm-up game to come in, but Case Western already taking a dominant lead. This is a five-stock difference. I mean, that's that's a player and a quarter. And, uh... I mean, yeah, I, the next person coming in, Vera, needs to take this stock really quickly. If Vera loses a stock uh, against violence, this could easily spell the end for Marist already. All right, so here's their hand warmer. <laughs> oh, let's go, Mar oh, Donnie Jones here for Maris. Uh, Seamus, Living Monkeys, and sorry for your loss. Uh, saying that this book is already closed. You know, can't be reopened, can't be rewritten. Uh, the future is already determined. <laughs> But we, we will see if uh, Merit's can College, even, even if they're down by this much, they, it's possible that they could uh, bring it close, even if they don't win it. I mean, also, five stocks is doable. You just have to have a really strong anchor. Um, I do believe I've seen Matthew play before, and I think Matthew might be one of their anchors. Uh, not entirely sure. I think we're going to start, and I think we're going Pokemon because the band was Yoshi's, so... Hopping right in, and thank you, C.W. Milkos, for the follow. Super appreciate it. Hope you, hope you all are enjoying some college melee. We've got students and we have alumni. Uh, our circuit is really just a chance for schools to play against each other. You know, uh, the melee games is not around anymore. CSL hasn't been doing anything with rollback, and so here we are. Yeah, Matt. Okay, I see uh, King. King Kyber in the chat saying Matthew will clean the roster out. Jets dude agreeing with that. Marist only needs one player. Uh, indeed, it does seem like Matthew is the anchor. I feel like I've seen that in previous crew battles. Uh, I have a pretty terrible memory, and also I think I've watched almost every single crew battle, so. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what we're waiting on. Oh, 30. They're going at 30. That's what we're doing. And there's the taunt! Let's go. I, I love the taunts in neutral, and I think it's great because all you have to do is wait for your opponent to finish their taunt, and then you can start moving. Uh, ooh. You know, that's actually a, a kind of a beefy start. Down smash. Wow, percent's even. Uh, you know, honestly, if you're Vera, it's fine to be percent even until you get to high percent. You can have, like, even percent going up to 100, but it's closer to 100 that you won't want it to be even. You'll definitely want to be building up a lead here. Because if Vi Oh my god, Violet's just spamming these uppies out of shield. Knowing that they just need to do some percent and then take one stock. Nothing super special. Up tilt comes out. Oh, here's Vera with a little opportunity, but... Both players playing ring around the rosy at edge. <laughs> Violence gets a grab. Oh, Vera's gonna miss that dash attack. Uh, Violence having the tether grab jump, putting them slightly above the dash attack. Right, this is an edge guard opportunity. Vera is doing really well on percent here, so this is what you'd want to see, because the Samus is at kill percent, and Vera still can take like another 30. Um, 
and before being a kill percent. Oh, down air. Okay, that back air could have been big, but that down smash shield stab is going to be pretty big. Violence is not going to actually try to edge guard with an aerial, so... Okay, let's see. Violence at 152. Next meaty Dr. Mario hit should kill. Oh, yep, and that's going to be the down smash, and that will take it. Uh, great job by Vera, making sure to not lose any stocks, and taking Violence's last. Believe I'm gonna need a broadcast. All right, but Violence, I mean, that's still a, an all amazing performance, simply because Violence had four, and I took eight. That's just double what you need to to break even, you know? That's um, If you were in the stock market, that's 100% return, so that's really good. All right, with some players who don't know how to broadcast, uh, let's hope that whoever Case sends, sends in next does know how to broadcast. Case a little... Honestly, considering how well they're doing right now, I'd say Case is uh, potentially overstacked, the fact that they have the real thing on this week. Um... You know, that could just be just destruction towards the end. Uh, Alright, so it looks like uh, Alex Exposed, aka Alex, uh, is coming in, the Falcon. Uh, and it looks like they can't broadcast. Uh, and Vera says they don't know how. It is highly recommended you learn how to broadcast. I think it's really simple. Uh, most people figure it out within a few seconds if they have any sort of intuition with computers because you like open the slippy desktop app and there's a thing that like says broadcast <laughs> like i don't know what much more to say than that uh it's, it's pretty simple All right, so, uh, you know, as much... I really want to scold players who don't know how to broadcast when they come in. It's just like... It's just like, you didn't even open the Slippy Desktop app, did you? It's like, you didn't even open the app. <laughs> like, come on, man, work with me here. Uh, and, and also, it should be on the team coordinators to make sure that their their team is broadcasting. Uh, huge shout-outs to University of Massachusetts Amherst, who they all had their broadcasts up literally by the time their first player was coming in. So I never had to ask for a broadcast. I saw all of them in front of me. I just, every time a new game came in, I just picked. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I I, I think Alex said this before that they can't broadcast. Um, but, like, I'm, because I, I, they know how, though. But Vera's saying... Vera now complaining. Why is it only on me? Um, and actually... Uh, every every time people come in, I'm like, hey, learn how to do the broadcast. Normally, I send a message. We are in week five, so if you do not know how to broadcast by week five, either you've not been playing matches, and it, the new teams, I'm not going to break their balls on this, but, like, if you've been here, it's week five. If you've been doing, if this is your fifth time doing a uh, thing, and you haven't tried to broadcast yet, then... I don't know! <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, look, I'm not trying to flex and say I'm doing a lot, but it, like, makes my job harder if I have to explain to people, like, how to broadcast every match. You know, so it, it would really help if you just watch the 30-second YouTube video. Uh, <laughs> like... <laughs> Look, I, like, I'm, I'm sorry, and it's unfortunate. Uh, I, I kind of wish the question was asked before... We started the crew battle. Uh, it's just not something that I can do while I commentate and do production. It's, uh, I, and I don't have extra hands for this. Uh, yeah, no, but then you should consult your team coordinator. I think they know how to broadcast. And so I'd recommend asking your team coordinator. I just personally cannot help you with this right now. So it would really help me a lot if your team, you can like message your team coordinator or I, I you know, I, I can Google a 30 second video. How to Slippy Broadcast. And yeah, 
Well, it's a three-minute YouTube video. It shouldn't take that long. It's oh, If you download Slippy Desktop app, the same way you view your replay files, there's an option called Broadcast, and you click on that one. And you put in the code, which is in the channel description, and pinned. And... Uh... Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, it, it look, I I'm sorry if I sound passive aggressive. It's just like running the stream, coordinating the crew battles, and now commentating does not make it super easy for me to jump into chat and help out with specifically with broadcasting. Uh I'm thankful right now that Case is trying to help this and remedy the situation. They're posting how to do it, they're posting the links, the downloads. So big shout outs to Case Western for trying to help get this crew battle rolling. Thank you for the follow, Real Lancey. Super appreciate it. Hope you like Collegiate Melee. Uh, w we don't need to talk smack, but I, I think this is a learning opportunity for everyone uh, for broadcasting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like, if, if, J if JMU, like, James Madison University or University of Central Florida came in here and it's, like, it's their first week, understandable, because, like, they haven't gotten to be here for the experience. Uh, just gonna, you know, just chill here for the broadcast. Uh, just, just waiting. No clue what's going on. I got a, a mention in team coordinators. Alright, uh, so we're just gonna wait on that. Yeah, UMA, honestly, like, I, I can't even wrap my head around how good they are. Like, uh, Silky, great job, I'm sure Silky's helping with that coordination, like, it makes my job so easy, I, it's beautiful. Like, when I can just kind of, like, click on it and be like, I, ha I see this person, I see this person, I see this person, and then I'm like, okay, I can just tell them they can start playing now, like, boom. Uh, I do not see the broad, uh, they said broadcast in the list, I do not see it up. That is a, that is a good point. Case Western, Ameris has to be appreciative that Case Western... Yeah, K Case Western did allow Marist College to have the exception because theoretically Marist might would have had to probably could have played like with I think twelve stocks and then Case Western could have forced them to play with twelve stocks would have been kind of mean but technically in the rules it's allowed and I wouldn't have been able to stop it <laughs> or actually like I, why would I stop it that's the rules like if if you can't bring the players that signed up and it's less than 24 hours prior it means you're going to lose stocks but that's just unfortunately how we have to run it we need to have some formality to it if we don't have the rosters in on time uh then it's just so hard for players to fix starters and then if people are changing their rosters like 24 hours before it it makes things weird so if anyone's wondering why we had to uh make a hard deadline for rosters and then why you you have to check with the other team if it's okay uh, within 24 hours. It's just because we need that information out like generally earlier. Roster changes aren't as aren't super common. Uh, they do occur kind of frequently, but uh, generally the most I've seen is like single player changes. Uh, once in a while, I've seen like two or three. Um, but it's yeah. But also changing your roster is not terrible unless you change your roster and then you beat your opponent. And then your opponent's like, oh, well, that sucks. And then that's, well, duh. Yeah, nothing you can do about that, because uh, it's the risk you take. All right, looks like we got the match going. We are ready to get started as soon as the players are. Are they getting right into it? 
I think they're right into it. All right. Uh, I okay. Generally, it's good to let me know after a warm-up game because occasionally the broadcast doesn't work. Like there are sometimes broadcasts don't work. Sometimes it's because of a quit dolphin, so it resets the broadcast. So it, like you need to click start broadcast again. Uh, going right into it, Case Western with this four stock lead. Uh, let me click that update button. All right, here we go. Uh, Doctor Mario chain grab maybe? I don't know. Okay, so right now. Both players taking a huge amount of damage, and this could be... No, no one's dead here, surprisingly. Alright, exposed with these double jabs. Vera trying to get the Nair. Will Vera get the edge guard? Oh, goes for the forward, so doesn't quite get it, and it's gonna get ledge hop need! And unless they have side B stall... Oh. Uh, not... I don't really know enough about Doc to say whether that was livable with the down B. Um, oh my... I don't know if that was a tech flub, or... Exposed is just going from some sauce. Um, I, I mean, at this point, if you're thinking about your crew, you don't actually need to worry about, like, taking t too many stocks. You just need to, like, think about going even. Because if Exposed goes even right here, that's all they need to maintain a solid lead. Because Violence has already set the stage for Case Western to take this. But the rest of the players need to pull just their own weight. <gasps> what a combo! Wow! You know, I love Falcon combos. I, th I think they're so cool. Um, people hate Stomp Knee. I can understand why. Uh, they say it's so guaranteed. But, like, there's also a lot of things that, on Falcon that I think are guaranteed, which is why I think it, it's a compensation. Alright, here we go. Up throws. Alright, here we go. Side B into Knee. Here we go. Alright, let's see what the... Oh, and the Soft Knee's actually gonna do it! Exposed, laying on the ground, saying, I can take a nap now. I don't need to get up. Oh, starts it off with a raw knee. Exposed. Exposed. Is he exposing Vera? What is, what's going on here? Oh, <gasps> that ledge cancel dare. Oh my god. Exposed is just moving now. But can Vera take one more stock to seal, to help the team? I mean, it was looking so even at the beginning. Oh, Vera gets the grab. What is it? it oh, okay. Into shields at back air. What's the follow up? Uh, good patience by Vera, but a little bit too slow to get the grab. Alright, right now both players are just looking for that opening. Vera kind of looking for potentially just a hard hit to knock uh, Exposed off the stage. Oh, and there we go, Exposed is gone. Good stock by Vera. Vera, if can take one more, this would be huge. Oh, this could be huge! That's huge! Okay, so it looks like Marist College is not going to go further into deficit. Oh, actually, uh, the, they are. Uh, I take that back, but still a... Good, like, later game performance by Vera. I really was, ex like, after the first couple stocks, I thought that ex Exposed might potentially just, you know, three-stock them. But, uh, yeah, great job by Vera to make it a super close game. Uh, and then, so good job by Exposed for taking all the stocks and carrying more than their weight, uh, assuming they can take one more. Yeah, no co-commentator today, because uh, there was a bit of a mix-up. I kind of sent the commentators away because uh, I got a DM from Marist in the middle of my previous match saying we got to cancel it, and I'm like, okay. So I told the commentators, I'm like, I guess we're canceled? And we only had one other commentator anyway, but they're commentating at 10, so they'll be back. Um, just a lot of little confusion going on here. We're going to wait for Marist College to say who they're sending in. Uh, either way, we know a Falco is coming in, that's for sure. Um... But we'll see. We'll see which one they want to send it. I believe Matthew is... Oh, no, it's okay, Seamus. Don't worry about it. I know you didn't want to commentate your own matches, so, like, don't worry about it at all. You, like, you also explicitly told me you didn't want to commentate your own matches, so, like, don't worry about it. Um, but, yeah, okay. We're, oh, we're getting Matthew in right now. All right. I thought Matthew might be the anchor, but it seems like they're going to go for something now. All right, so oh, so basically Ben Snape talking about how jacked he is. It's true though. Basically Ben Snape is basically jacked. So um, we're gonna wait.
Okay, so we got the broadcast now from Matthew. Let's go. Um, okay. All right, people talking about their weight right now. Uh, you know, some some stats. You know, gotta gotta plug that into the uh, Slippy Stats website. You get your your average percent, your APM. <laughs> Or what is it? No, there's actually like your body density or something. I I feel like there's a, a three letter uh thing for your body fat, like your fat density or something, or your like percentage body fat. I forget what it's called. Uh, are these uh, exposed as a take one? Are they going Pokemon? I ban FD, and I don't see a stage pick. Yeah, so they were waiting on Matthew to do the stage pick. That is exactly why I believe uh, Expose is not killing themselves right now. Oh, BMI, that's right. Ah, that's right. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not a anatomy person or a biology major. I, I just do computer stuff. I just make the thing that generates the rosters. <laughs> All right, so we're going battlefield. That's gonna be the pick. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish I was going back to Oberlin uh, at some point, because then I could maybe visit the Case Western people and see them in real life. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, yeah, because uh, my school is in that area, so I've definitely interacted with the Case Western uh, Ultimate players, because I did the TO stuff for Oberlin, but never really got to talk too much with the. Uh, Melee players. Alright, so here we go. Matthew playing the Green Falco. We're going to see Exposed down to their last stock. Uh, we'll see if Exposed is going to try and expose the Marist College team any further, but uh, it, so far Exposed, you know, it, oh, if they lose the stock right here, they break even. They get one more, they have done more than their duty. So, we'll see. Oh, but Matthew with a fast start. Some quick shines. All right, so both players kind of playing a little patient. Exposed going for a hard read with the side B. Oh, goes for the, the fade back knee, but a little bit misspaced, I couldn't tell, or uh, mistimed. Just didn't get the hard one. All right, so Matthew, percent deficit, but doesn't really matter because it's just whoever takes it first, and Exposed is just going to run off the edge and almost kill himself. Oh, edge guard opportunity. Let's see what Matthew has in store. Goes for the back air, gets it reversed. <gasps> Stomp! Knee! Oh! Okay, so Exposed has officially taken five stocks, done more than they needed to. Uh, this is putting things in a real good spot for Case Western because, uh, you know, seven stocks against 12, even when Exposed, is, Exposed loses this, that's still not great. But, totally, totally doable. I mean, uh, six stocks is a big deficit, but I think I've seen teams do this comeback. But we'll just see how uh, this this plays out. If Matthew loses one more, that would be really bad for them. Exposed going really far out there. <gasps> gets the up air. Gets the grab. Oh, goes for the tech in place knee. Doesn't get it. <gasps> oh, gentlemen. Into up air. Into what? Oh, it gets hit by side B and actually gets hit onto the platform based on where they were. Oh, the Tipman Falcon. Okay, goes for another up air. Not gonna die the 169. This is a crazy percent for Falcon. Oh, and that's death for Falco. That is six stocks taken for exposed. Wow. The first two players of Case Western are blowing Maris College wide open. All right, and that will do it for exposed. Matthew losing two stocks to take that one. Uh, that's not exactly what you want to see if you're Marist, but... Three players left for Case Western, I mean... Uh, if, <laughs> if for every stock Marist loses, they take two, they will win. So... We'll see, yeah. I think this is doable. It's a mountain, but it's doable. Um...
Yeah, and please do please do stay tuned. We're gonna have Georgia Tech, the undefeated team of the spring 2021 circuit, against John Hopkins Johns Hopkins University, the mixed team. <laughs> Johns Hopkins, Johns, no Johns. Matthew, let's see, we'll, we'll see let's see how those two stocks can work out because it could it could be big. All right, so we're going to see basically Ben Snape, a.k.a. McDunzo, the Ganondorf player, come in. Uh, actually, w w no, it wasn't, was it yesterday? At some point, I viewed a Kent State tournament, or weekly, totally forget, or not Kent State, it was Cincinnati. And I think, the, like, a few of the case players were there, which was fun. Yeah, I, let's see, I... I yeah, I, I feel like we might see McDonough try to go for style. I, I don't know. This is just a theory, but I feel like McDonough is going to go for style. Um, I made this proposition yesterday um, when they were running stream. Uh, sorry. They're telling them they can start when ready. Uh, that in the Midwest, because they have so many Ben players, they should make a tournament for the Benz called Battle of the Benz. But you spell Benz like Mercedes Benz with the Z, like Ben Z. Uh, I, I think that'd be hilarious, but you know that's just my opinion. Um, but they do have a lot of Benz. They got Ben Snape. They got McDunzo's a Ben. Uh, they got Frecky, who's a Ben. Ah, uh, jeez. There are a few others. Like these are not the only ones. There's definitely more. Uh, this is the only one I can list off the top of my head right now. But yeah, <laughs> so I think it'd be hilarious. Um, I don't see any stage bans. So we're going to see what the stage ban is um, coming on out. Okay, we're now past a minute, and I'm going to start to fall asleep. <laughs> oh! Okay, you know what? That that woke me up. That woke me up. That McDunzo movement on platform. Ooh. <laughs> that woke me up. Yes. Wow. Smart Caesar. Caesar. Yeah. How did you? You knew there was. A, yeah. There's a Smash class at Oberlin, and uh, I am the last teacher of it. I taught it for three years in a row, and as soon as I stopped teaching it, it ceased to exist. Uh, I inherited it from the seniors when I was a freshman. Because uh, I came in as a melee player to the to Oberlin, which wasn't a super common thing. Generally at Oberlin, the melee players are built there. Um, but yeah, there, there was a class, and you did get college credits. And I taught it for three full years, so six semesters total. It was indeed a handful. And boy, let me tell you, I hated it when we had to start teaching Ultimate in the curriculum. That was not fun for me. That was just... Super not fun. Anyway, here we go, right in. McDunzo playing the purple Ganon. One of the cool Ganon skins. Honestly, I don't really think there's any bad ones, except for maybe green. I think purple's really cool, though. Um, Alright, so starting on 40. Let's hope for this neutral start. No, you got it. Okay. Uh... I would recommend for the future for players, you wait on your side and you stop moving for when the timer hits the designated start time, because it can be really confusing if you're moving and then all of a sudden you think this all of a sudden the start time occurs, and then it's kind of confusing for the other person because they're like, but they're still moving exactly the same as they were. Do they they like still warming up? Yeah. <gasps> almost Tipmans up airs. Oh jab, dare. Oh, ho, ho. almost good angle by Matthew to not get hit by that dare. That could have been deadly. Oh, and these spot dodges. McDunzo just catching the spot dodges. Gonna get jabs, and that should be death. Yeah, it's a whole ledge. Oh, I can play it. Shout out to 69. Uh, that's not appropriate. Okay, playing the shout out to 69 clip. Love that. <laughs> One of my favorite commentary clips ever. Right, here we go, down air. Oh, McDunzo with the edge cancel up air. Wow. I mean, if he. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that's an unfortunate SD, but. Uh, if McDunzo takes it here, if Ben can take it, basically Ben Snape, uh, 
then this is looking really good for Case. You know, that, that would still be a net positive from this game. All right, and that's gonna be the stock. Uh, wow. Great job by McDunzo to push above what they needed to do, because they, they didn't need to do this much. They could have gotten away with taking one stock and just completely lost. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Thunderbird. Glad I could keep my virginity. <laughs> Glad I could save it. Uh, Alright, we're going to go into the next game. And we're going to see... Yeah, I've always wondered that if you could ever, like... That, that was one of the questions I used to ask my friends when I get super intoxicated. I'd be like, guys, can you ever regain your virginity? Like, can you take it back? Like, so that they can't have it? And then my friends are like, what are you talking about, dude? And I'm like, no, 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 but think about it. If you if you can reverse the act... <laughs> I know, I have the green screen on, because it's a total mess back here, and Attack on Titans on the TV, so I didn't want everyone to see that, but... Ta-da! See? I'm just... I don't want everyone to see my messy workspace. Also, I'm wearing green pants, so look at this. <laughs> look at this! Isn't this funny? <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's, uh, it's my, my Lucky Charms pants. My dad thought it was a hilarious Christmas gift. Turns out they're just comfy pants. Shoutouts to McDunzo for, uh, Case Western Cheats! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yo, Osh with the the 666 connect code? Yo, that's kind of crazy. Honestly, super convenient for whoever you're playing. Cuz it's like you just type in you just hit the A button 3 times when you get to the numbers. That's That's pretty that's pretty dope if you ask me. <laughs> I hate it when someone has like a, a 0 and like a 1 and you have to like go back and forth and you're like, "Oh dear god." <laughs> Um Wait, I got to Okay, so stadium was the ban. We got to figure out where Osh would like to go. <laughs> he only lost cuz he wears deodorant. <laughs> Lucky for Maris, the living monkey's not on the team. Alright, I don't know why chat is getting so riled up today. I am sorry if I've started any aggression here. I know I was a little aggressive about the broadcast thing, and I apologize for that. But, uh, y'all can take it easy on each other, you know? We're, we're, not, we're not out here to kill each other. <laughs> All right, <laughs> what did I just walk into? Yeah, we got some uh, some some smack talk going on right now. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm a little awkwarded out. Oh, thank you, Big Kitchen Sink. I super appreciate it. We're just trying to give melee to the intercollegiate community. It's something I wanted when I was like a freshman in college, and it's something I couldn't have. Um, I mean, like CSL was doing it, but no offense to CSL, the system felt very complicated, uh, and because everything was still in person, it was it felt difficult to actually like attend those events. I think we're going Yoshi's. Uh, my broadcast just force quit. All right, I think. Okay, it should work now. We're gonna miss the first like few seconds. All right, here we go. We're in. Uh, I'm gonna switch these characters. Doot doot. All right, here we go. Um, not- I can understand why the Falco wanted to go Yoshi's, but I think at the same time, there needs to be an understanding of if you're on Yoshi's, you're gonna have to, like, deal with Ganon killing you at maybe 50. You know, like, you're, you're gonna do crazy combos against Ganon, but just- Oh, very nice back air, and that's gonna seal it for the first stock of McDunzo. Basically, Ben Snape. Oh, power shield? Alright, gets shined out of the back air. Great reaction by Osh protecting themselves from that meaty hit, because now they're at 50, this could be a death hit. 
All right, McDunzo, I like the not overextending. If they tried to go for something, they could have just actually just gotten hit and taken more damage. Uh, just try to play it safe. Here's the jab. Oh, the back air. They could have just held ledge, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, going for the, the back air, showing that they're going to kill them, not just letting them fall to their death. Oh, you know, I, I love Ganon's. It, it, it's so hard to play against for me because I'm, I'm not good against people who, like, think about what they're doing rather than just hitting buttons really fast. And Ganon players definitely think about what they're doing. Uh, <laughs> but Ganon, Ganon players have such cool movement. Alright, edgeguard time. And that was a great edgeguard by Osh. McDunzo now dropping to his last stock. Um... This is looking much more doable for Maris now if uh, they can take this last stock from McDunzo. It's potentially a, just a 3 to 8 game. McDunzo just needs to take one stock here and that will do it. And now it looks like a, a real mountain to climb. This is Osh having to put the team on their back if they want to uh, attempt to win this. Oh, catching them out of the. F catching McDunzo out of the forward air. McDunzo with a down tilt! Woo! Spicy. Okay, uh, I thought McDonald's was going to try and shark Osh there. Oh, Osh with the startup, Shine Bear. Oh, McDonald's would just wave land on down B. It's a really good get out of the corner move sometimes after your opponent throws out an option. Alright, I like this movement. McDonzo now hitting the sky. Gonna have to recover. Gonna be able to grab ledge. <gasps> Clangs with the forward smash. Goes for an up B out of shield. Crazy. Oh my god, crouches! I can't tell if that crouch actually had McDunzo beat that first laser. I don't know. Um, and so now, right here, it looks like Osh, based on the way this is going, should be able to seal this up, but... Yeah, okay, okay, I was gonna say, that that was a little bit of a risky position for Osh when they went off the stage, but... Gonna clean it up, and we're gonna see Case Western have to send in their second-to-last player. And let me check on the broadcast status. Shoutouts to Osh, putting their broadcast in, even though I already had another. I super appreciate that, Osh. Shoutouts to you. I didn't even have to ask you. That's the best part. That's the, the best. <laughs> All right. So that means I can just say, got broadcast. Let me know after warm-up game. Because now, now we are all set to run right into the next game. We just need to double ch Oh, Frost Warrior's coming in. Oh, shy. Okay, Frost Warriors, the facts. Facts! Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, pfft. I put it in the wrong spot. I was supposed to put that in for McDunzo. Because Osh is indeed still in as the. F the white falco or the blue falco depending on what kind of what kind of colors you see um ganon d smash very sexy imo Ready? frost warrior out here with the fox gonna play vanilla just gonna swap some stuff around I got a Stream Deck XL, so hopefully I can start running Stream now just by pressing buttons and I'll be doing less typing. Um, that's the dream. The dream is to hit a button to send in the next player rather than having to like, type it in, but gotta figure out how to program that. <laughs> Yeah, McDunzo is uh, literally Ganondorf IRL and basically Ben Snape every other time. <laughs> Yo, if you have a big nose, you can smell though. You you have like a you have better sense of smell. You you capture more. And uh, you know, <laughs> God, now I'm thinking of all those terrible COVID jokes where it's like, man, that New Year's Eve party sucked. I couldn't taste the food, and you know, people were people were just like. Uh, you know, and then smell stuff. I don't know. Bad jokes. Not even gonna... <laughs> not even gonna go with that. Solo commentary today. I'm sorry for such terrible commentary. I pre-warned the teams it was gonna be bad. I was like, you wanna send in players to commentate this? Because it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> uh, you know, I... 
unfortunately made my bed, which has reduced my commentary potential. Uh, in intercollegiate slippy, the best commentators have the messiest beds. So, just for you know. Uh, also, if you're watching and you want to be a commentator for intercollegiate slippy, I'm actually going to be throwing out that commentator application in a post later tonight in the Discord. So please do check it out. Uh, could always use more commentators. I'd love to get more people on the mic. I'd also love to hear different voices because I feel like I haven't heard that many voices. <laughs> Frost Warrior <laughs> saying start on go and, uh, and then Osh having to remind Frost Warrior I have one stock. <laughs> wow, Frost Warrior trying to give Marist College three additional stocks. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, so we're gonna start at 40. Uh, hopefully, the player's gonna hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Yes! Okay, that was not really a neutral start by Frost Warrior. You're kind of supposed to wait till the, the the digits hit zero all around, but... Okay, sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I really want to see a four-stack by Osh. And you all are probably wondering, why would I want to see Osh four-stack this fox when this fox could probably just take it right here? And, and the thing. Well, A, want to see more melee. B, it would mean the real thing has to come out, uh, and and it would mean something. It would it would mean that Marist College. Oh no, that's death. <laughs> All right, as I'm telling my story, that's just going to be the end of the crew battle. Uh, great job to Marist College, but even greater job to Case Western. Uh, really solid performance. And along those lines, I was going to say like, if they had to bust out the real thing, it, it really just demonstrates like your team is pretty serious. Because if the real thing doesn't have to come out, it kind of means like, oh, they, they played their, their average players. But if you force the real thing to come out, it means like, oh, okay, you force their best player to come out and play you now. Uh, so once again, thank you for tuning in. I think we're going to do a quick raid on a melee channel. Let's see who's active. But super appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, GG's to everyone. Uh, oh, Rollback Rumble's on tonight. Uh, that's really cool. Nez is playing in it. This is awesome. Uh, yeah, very cool. So we're going to raid Eddie Mexico real quick. Spam that tree to help intercollegiate Slippy. Oh, wait, that doesn't, that really doesn't work when I say it like that. Spam this tree to help intercollegiate Slippy. Slippy, uh, yeah, it doesn't work, guys. If anyone has a better, a better one, could really use a better copy pasta. Uh, in this case, we're just going to raid, um, I'll tell you what, let's raid Bobby Big Balls. Why not, all right? Uh, please do stay tuned. All right, so... Oh, yeah, sorry about that. How can you commentate? Uh, we will have, in the Discord, in the general announcements, I will be putting out the commentator application later. We have our one of our admins, Clean Water, who is a Columbia University admissions officer, go through them. So you're getting read by a real admissions officer here, all right? It's no joke. <laughs> and, okay, we're going to go raid Bobby Big Balls. Tell him where you came from. Tell him what's up, all right? And uh, stay tuned for more Melee tonight at 10 o'clock. Georgia Tech versus John Hopkins, Johns Hopkins University mixed team. All right, peace.